Part two of Governor Dana Malloy's liquor law battle is underway at the state capitol. Of course, he won round one last year, allowing for liquor sales on Sundays. Now the governor wants to change the state's very complicated pricing policy that he says makes Connecticut uncompetitive with surrounding states. News H chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live now to explain what the governor wants exactly this time around. Mark. Hi, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. The Malloy administration says it's time to shake up the state's minimum pricing law, and that's the next needed step. Since last May, Connecticut consumers have been able to purchase beer, wine, and spirits on Sundays and most holidays. Many store owners say it has not increased business. But part two of the Malloy administration's liquor law battle is to abolish Connecticut's minimum pricing rules, the only ones in the nation. Rules designed to protect small stores by setting the price for a bottle no matter if you buy one or an entire case. It has to be the same. We feel that the minimum pricing uh, artificially inflates uh, pricing for the consumer, um, forcing, uh, you know, in many instances, forcing customers to shop neighboring states. The administration believes in the northern tier of the state, it results in the loss of at least two and a half million dollars a year in tax revenue as people flock to lower prices in Massachusetts. Dominic Alimo, who operates a store on the border in Enfield, says it will help him compete against the so-called big box stores. If this guy is buying liquor by the case cheaper than I am, this law will allow me to buy two bottles equal to the price that he pays for 12 bottles. But many small store operators around the state flooded to the Capitol again today, saying big box liquor retailers will move in and it will force them and the dozen or so small distillers that operate in the state out of business. They want to bring the national brands in, sell them at cost basically, and drive all the small guys out. So they would drive the small liquor companies out, the small liquor wholesalers out as well. The marketplace will change and the small brands will be affected, whether it be by shelf space or pricing. Now, some liquor store owners have told News 8 that the Connecticut state sales tax is also a problem. They do not charge sales tax on beer, wine, and liquor in Massachusetts. The state tax commissioner here in Connecticut told me today that could be next year's big battle. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.